Hey ladies, how's it going? Um, uh, oh, excuse me. I hope everybody's been doing well. Um, I had a doctor's appointment Monday and Tuesday. Um, so my appointment Monday, it was supposed to be my glucose test, but for some reason, um, they scheduled me for like a regular, I guess, checkup, pregnancy checkup type situation. So I didn't do my glucose test. Um, I ended up having to come back the very next day to do the glucose test. So I got the orange drink because um, everybody kept saying that. I guess that was the best flavor because it tastes like orange soda. And it did. It tastes like... It tastes like orange soda that's about to be flat. Like not quite flat, but not quite as strong and crisp as if it would be if you were just opening it up. So if anybody's doing the glucose test, I would recommend the orange drink. Um, also heard the lemon lime was good because it tastes like Sprite, but anyway, my test came back and I failed. Um, I think they said that they want to see it at 130 and I was at 190. Um, excuse me, but I don't know. I didn't eat an hour before the test. I don't know if I was supposed to fast for 12 hours or or what um not sure i'm trying to think when's the last time i had some food it was probably the dinner the night before because when i got up i had to like go to my appointment um so yeah so the day before monday monday i ate and when i thought i had my test i didn't eat an hour before and I didn't have the test. Ooh, excuse me. And then Tuesday when I went in, the last thing I ate was dinner before <clears throat> my test, which I guess that really wouldn't affect it. So I guess my 190 is probably accurate. But anyway, so they're going to call me back this week to schedule my three-hour test, which I'm not really looking forward to because that's three whole hours without me eating. Um, that's really not good for me because when I get hungry, I get hungry. <sighs> Excuse me. Um, what else? So my last video, I had braids in my hair and I took them out. This has nothing to do with baby, by the way. Took them out and a lady pulled out one of my edges. Like, look at that. She put... So she pulled, she was pulling too hard because I don't take them out because I don't have time for that. So I tell them to take it out. And I've been going to this place for years and I've never had an issue. So this one girl was just like taking, I was just like, you're pulling it too hard. And she was just like, oh, okay. And um, she pulled like kind of yanked it and I felt something come out. But I was just like, I said, did you just pull my hair out? And she said, uh, she, what did she say? She was just like, no, it wasn't It wasn't your hair or something. But like when you first take out your braids and you just have this big, huge afro, you can't really tell. And I was just like, and I looked in the mirror and it looked like, you know, my regular edge is like this. And I was just like, oh, okay. And then um, when I got home, I washed it and I pulled it back. I said, oh, I said that whole braid came out. So, oh, wait, hold on, because I got to. Move this little hair back over there. But I got a whole chunk of hair missing. So I, call, I said, oh, I'll never be at your shop. Now, this has always looked like like this. That's just, that's just my hairline. Don't judge my life. But this is missing from her. Um, and I was supposed to go up there and get my money back. But I had already made it to this gender reveal for my friend. And I really, really had to go because she came to mind. But, I mean, I would have went anyway. But, um... So I couldn't make it back up there. And the lady was just like, can you come? Can you come? I said, no, I can't come. I'm busy. So I sent her a picture. She never got back to me because she told me, okay, well, just send me a picture so I can see it. And I was trying to get my money back, but she never got back to me. So I sent her, a, 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 not an email, a text message and said, um, I sent her a text message to let her know 
or you know, you want to duck and dodge and act like you didn't see my text message, you know, and you keep saying, oh, I'm not in the office today, I'm not in the office today, and all this other stuff, which I should have just went up there. And it only cost me like 40 bucks, which, I mean, that is a lot of money, but you know. I said, don't worry about it, because I'll never be at your shop again. So I figure, you know, I could get that 40 bucks back, but it's going to hurt them even worse for me to never come back up there, because I used to go up there all the time, okay? And I know how to braid. Well, I got my uh, cosmetology license. I can braid in. I can do my own hair. So it's not really a problem for me to do it at home. I was just being, I've been lazy. Um, and it's just easier when somebody else does your hair, so. But I can do it myself. I've been doing it since I was 13, so really ain't no skin off my back. But And I probably wouldn't have cared if she would have just said, yeah, I'm sorry it was an accident because I've pulled out my hair before too. But usually when I do it, it's like in the back, in the lower back because I get so, like I'll start taking it down up here and then when I get to the back, I'm so uh, tired and frustrated that I just start yanking stuff out. But that's me. I can do that because that's my hair. Um, that probably wasn't good advertisement for somebody if they want me to do their hair. I won't pull out your hair, but I'm just saying. Anyway, enough of that. Um, back to baby. Um, so the other day I came home, I took off my bra. Might be a little TMI on this next session. Uh, section. I took off my bra and I started scratching. You know, when you had a long day at work and you just want to come home and relax. So I was just like, and I looked and milk started licking from my breast. I said, Oh, father. Now I was excited because it just lets me know, you know, I can't produce because not all women produce milk. Um, and I will be able to breastfeed my baby. Uh, not sure how much milk I'll get in, but it, it is exciting to see, you know, just the change. Um, but at the same time, it's very disturbing because you could just look and it was just kind of like, it's not nasty, but it just looks so weird because you're not used to the stuff leaking from your breasts. Um, so that happened. And I told my husband, because he was just like, oh, my God, are you, because he heard me, like, freak out. It's like, oh, my God, are you okay? I'm like, yeah, yeah, I'm fine. I said, I have milk coming out of my boobs. And he said, oh, like, the look on his face was just like, kind of like mine, like, I'm excited, but ill at the same time. Um, so we just both died laughing, but it's just good to know that Miss Kennedy will have some sort of a milk supply. Um, I pray that it stays, and I pray that it's plentiful. Um, so that we don't have to switch over to formula. No offense to anybody that's using formula. Um, to each his own. What else happened? Um, I lost weight. I've lost 14 pounds. Not really sure how that's happened. Um, I know some mom said that, because you know in your third trimester, the baby's getting bigger. Excuse me, you get full a little faster. So you're not eating as much like at one time. So that could be the reason why I'm losing weight. My stomach is getting bigger, so I know my baby's growing, but I'm just losing weight. Tomorrow, if I get on a scale and I've gone down any more than 14 pounds, I'm going to call my doctor and see, you know, make sure she's okay. Um, I've been having... This pain on my right side. I know I've always talked about the tightness in my stomach and stuff like that. But I've been having this pain on my right side. It's like a knot. And it won't go away. So maybe I do need to check on that weight loss. But anyway. But it's on the right side. Kind of like where your ovary used to be. I don't know if they're still there when the baby gets, you know, stuff gets moving around. But whatever. Um... That's where it is, and it's just like somebody's just squeezing it, and it hurts. I mean, it hurts right now, but it hurts more when I lay down. Oh, she's kicking. It hurts more when I lay down. 
Um, so I really need to go get that checked. And it's only been hurting for the past, I would say, two days. So, um, hush, buddy. Uh, so the first day it started hurting. I didn't really think anything of it because I thought it was just another one of those, you know, moments that I was going through, like just little painful moments. And then today, yeah, today will make the second day. Um, it hasn't gone away. So tomorrow, um, tomorrow if it doesn't go away or if the Tylenol doesn't help, I'm going to go ahead and call the doctor about that and the weight, the weight gain. So... Um, I'm leaving Friday to go to my baby shower in Texas. And then the one in Charlotte will be next week. Um, so. I'll, I'll update everybody on that. Just the baby shower in Texas is going to be a gift card shower. Since I have to travel, it's just easier for me to put stuff put um, a whole bunch of gift cards, you know, in an envelope or whatever in my purse and just travel versus trying to get gifts across the country. That is way too much. Um, so other than that, I'm doing pretty well. Um, I have cut back on the milk because it was creating knots in my stomach. So I know that knot is not coming from milk because I haven't had milk in like a week and a half to two weeks. So, I don't know what it is. I'm with my little Texas earrings. I've been wearing them all week because I'm going home. Um, what else? I think that's it. So, I'll talk to you ladies. I swear every time I come on here, I yawn. And I'm not even sleepy right now. I don't know why I'm yawning today. But I'll talk to you ladies uh, soon. I'll let everybody know how the baby shower went. Or actually, I guess once I talk to my doctor tomorrow, I can do like maybe a five-minute update to let everybody know um, what's going on or if I need to come in and all that good stuff. So, yeah. And I am officially 31 weeks and just like three or four days, something like that. So, we're moving on to week 32 come Sunday. I'm going to give you guys a baby bump, and I'm out. Uh-oh. There's the bump. She's sitting up kind of high. Here's the bump from the front. Oh, man. So, yeah, my little baby is getting really big. I mean, really big. Um, so, I hope everybody had a good day. And I'll talk to you ladies soon. Bye.